The U.S. space agency, NASA, is examining several design ideas for Gateway, the planned research outpost in lunar orbit. It will also be a temporary home for astronauts waiting to travel to and from the moon's surface or perhaps Mars. The mock-ups look like balloons, but they are far more complex. The Gateway, which is a lunar uh, staging ground where we're going to aggregate uh, the, the, the lunar vehicles to go to the lunar surface and then maybe in the future aggregate the Mars transit vehicle. So it's a sort of a co-orbiting platform and in, in, in lunar uh, vicinity. Inside the habitats are things needed to accommodate research as well as facilities needed for humans to live and work. Experts are studying the mock-ups to see which design works best. And the whole point is to define what we like and don't like about these different habitats. And, and from that, we will aggregate all the data and come up with recommendations and even requirements for what we actually want to go to flight with. The push to design and build space habitations grows out of the Trump administration's effort to have NASA put astronauts back on the moon by 2024. The accelerated timeline spawned the agency's Artemis program, which calls for the privately built lunar gateway, as well as lunar landers and robotic rovers. The modular space station orbiting the moon will house research and people. This gathering took place recently in Las Vegas, Nevada, at the headquarters of Bigelow Aerospace, a space habitat company founded by hotel chain billionaire Robert Bigelow. He hopes to host guests in a whole new way. Gateway is an opportunity to test all these structures and in a deep space environment, so to speak, even though it's so close to home, uh, as a prelude to going to Mars. Bigelow's B-330 habitat, launched from Earth compacted inside a capsule, is made of a fabric-like material designed to shield inhabitants from deep space radiation and high-speed space debris. Once docked alongside other gateway modules in lunar orbit, the habitat unfurls into a two-story, 16-meter-long outpost that can house up to six astronauts. The Lunar Space Habitat and Colonization Program is expected to cost more than a billion dollars through 2028. Jim Randall, VOA News.